All right, guys, today I'm going to attempt to make, we're going to make, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY version of a, a relay circuit tester set. I'm working on a job and I need a tool like this, but nobody has it. As you can see, it's $324 at Mac Tools, but it's the same one that Lyle makes. Lau makes this. Uh, the part number for Lau is uh, 69300. Zoro selling it for 226, and you can get it even cheaper on Amazon. You can get it for like uh, 179. So they're going to be close to uh, 200 bucks. And what it allows you to do is uh, you pick the one for your car. You know whether it's four pin, two pin three pin or whatever plug it into the slot and it gives you access to those pins while allowing you to place the relay on top so that the circuit is functional it's basically like a breakout kit so nobody has a thing i couldn't find it and uh it's it's not like it's a cheap thing i don't mind buying it i probably will buy one for the convenience and you can see it kind of comes with for if they don't have and this is what gave me the idea if they don't have a relay tester that fits it well they just give you these little wires and those wires are just spade connectors on one end male on one end and then female on the other end so i said to myself well i can I can just make that and use that. It will do the same thing. So that's what I have made here, and we're going to go over how to make it. Inside, I thought I had it, but this was a different relay kit. So as you can see, when you remove the relay, the relay has the male in, and then inside of the relay box for the vehicle are the female slots. So we have the male ends here to simulate the relay and then we have ex i have extended that so that i i don't have to be so far in the the vehicle because in the motorhomes the relay box are recessed and i have the female ends over here on this end and i've included some t-taps so that i can get my multimeter leads in to sample the measurements and the states of the circuit so that I can work on it. Kind of like a breakout kit um, for like an ODB2 or whatever. So, But it does the same thing as what this is going to do for you. Um, and then I just wrapped them all up in some electrical tape to keep it all together. So basically this is how it will work. So you go to your fuse box and we'll say that this is the relay now this is just a uh, bypass to energize a circuit but you'd hook up your relay on this end and now you have access for your multimeter to sample the measurements or power probe a lot of time i'm using a power probe uh for something like that especially it's just easier because it already has the ground on it i don't have to go looking for it. it goes directly to the battery anyway gives you access to your pins you know you can pretend it has four and you can make this six whatever you want to make it and uh on the other end this end would go into the socket the female socket for the relay itself okay so that's the setup and what this will allow you to do is to take your measurements and find out, okay, do I have my ground where my ground is supposed to be? Do I have my power where my power is supposed to be? And when I put the key in the ignition because I'm troubleshooting a, uh, a, a starter, a no crank, no start issue on a Class C motorhome, is the computer, the, uh, the, the PCM or the ECU, is it sending the ground signal to the pan? But it's supposed to match work in the boat. Am I getting my ignition voltage on the pin that it's supposed to get 
when the key is in the run position, it goes through the neutral safety switch and, you know, various fuses and whatnot. It really cuts down on troubleshooting. So I totally recommend a kit like this because it's handy. But if you're a DIYer or you just don't want to spend the two or 300 bucks, you can just make this and it works the same. And I like this a little better, like I said, because it brings me out of the engine bay because I can make the wires as long as I want and I can bring this up to uh, hood level instead of being recessed in those big trucks. The, the relay boxes sometimes are like a foot down. So this is how we make it. Just take a piece of wire. Wire. On both ends. I like to twist the wires and then find an appropriately sized spade connector. If, if the relay that you're dealing with, that you know you're gonna be dealing with is, is a small one, you know, use, use the size that, that works for the application you're making it for. But most of these relays is just a standard spade size, okay? So, we got our spades out. Just going to route that in. And then we're going to take our crimpers. Just crimp that in. Do a little pull test. See if it's connected. This is just for demonstration. I'm not really going to be using this. I'm just throw this away. After I'm done. I don't have a use for this one. And crimp that side and heat shrink it. And this this one's not good. I'm gonna do that one over, even though it's just for show. But that pull on it, and, and if it's loose or if it comes out, you didn't you didn't get a good crimp on it. Do it again. Okay. Crimp. Okay. Full test it. Okay, that's good. Now verify it. Continuity test. And these leads that I'm using, guys, these are out of the Maddox Back Pro kit. This is really good. It comes with a silicone like lead and uh, some intermediate tips. Some alligators. Okay. Oh, a little uh, kit there. All right. All right. So we got continuity. So we know that that lead is good. So once you have created the lead, make them whatever size you need, however long you want them to be. Then you put them together. I use all different color wires because if I'm mapping out a relay, I want to be able to know which one is doing what. I could just kind of write it down on a little scrap piece of paper and kind of map it out. Or if I'm looking into all data and I want to uh, be like I'm looking on my phone, then I can kind of say, okay, I know I have wire, circuit. I have the blue one for the ignition, have the brown on the uh, constant power and you know yellow on, on the ground you know so that's that's why I use different colors after you have them all together how you want them then just wrap them up the and what you have is like this nice little test harness that you can pretty much use on anything that it will fit. Now, if you run into a vehicle that has these large spades like this, of, of course, that that won't work, you know, because the, the spades are so big. But what you could do is if you have a set like this, double bananas, you can you can clip on with some alligator clips and then clip on uh, to the other end of your harness and make it work that way. OK, so. Uh, there's ways around that. 
but yeah guys this is a, a quick diy you know all of this material probably costs five dollars and uh you know if, if you don't want to spend the money on a kit like this or a kit like this the the relay buddy uh which is 162 on amazon or you don't want to spend you know the money on the mac tools one or or the lyle one then uh you can make this little breakout kit and it's it's going to get you to where you need to be all right so that's what i got just wanted to uh do a quick video because i'm actually going to use this today that's why i made it couldn't find anybody that had that kit so i made one and i'm going to use it i'll add it i make a lot of little tools especially electrical stuff uh I'll just throw it in the box. If I find that I'm using it a whole lot, well then I'll just buy I'll just buy a set. But if I find that I'm only using it once or twice a year, well I'll just keep using my little homemade one and I won't worry about spending the 300 bucks. That's what we got, guys. RV Tech Pro out.